What are the electron and molecular geometries of the carbon and oxygen atoms in ethanol? C2H5OH. What are the hybridizations of the carbon and oxygen atoms? To answer this question, we must first draw the Lewis structure. When drawing Lewis structures, place the less electronegative element in the middle of the structure. Place the valence electrons in four even regions around the atoms. These four even regions represent the four orbitals of the second shell. Two electrons form a bond if the difference in electronegativity is 1.79 or less. Hydrogen and fluorine form only one bond. Leave no unpaired electrons in the structure and valence shell electron pair repulsion drives electron geometry. The symbol for a carbon atom is drawn. The four valence electrons of the carbon atom are placed in four even regions around a carbon atom. The second carbon atom is drawn and its four valence electrons are placed in four even regions around that carbon atom. The oxygen atom is drawn and its six valence electrons are drawn. Each hydrogen atom is drawn and the valence electron for each hydrogen atom is oriented towards one of the unpaired valence electrons from the carbon atom. The hydrogen atom next to the oxygen has its valence electron oriented towards an unpaired electron for the oxygen atom. Bonds are indicated by drawing a line between the bonding electrons. The structure is redrawn neatly. This three-dimensional model shows the carbon atoms in gray, the oxygen in red, the hydrogens in white, and the lone pair in pink. Note the electron geometries of both carbon atoms and the oxygen atom are tetrahedral. The molecular geometries of both carbon atoms are tetrahedral. The molecular geometry of the oxygen atom is bent. When determining hybridization, start with a properly drawn Lewis structure ensuring the electron geometry is correct. Lone pairs of electrons are placed in hybrid orbitals and electrons forming single bonds are placed in hybrid orbitals. There are no double or triple bonds, so we move to rule 6. Hybridization is assigned according to the table below. For both carbon atoms and the oxygen atom, the number of hybrid orbitals is 4. Thus, the electron geometry of both carbon atoms and the oxygen atom is a tetrahedron and the hybridization of all atoms is sp3. As indicated, the electron geometry of the oxygen atom is tetrahedral. The hybridization is sp3. The molecular geometry is bent. Looking at this carbon atom, we see that the electron geometry is also tetrahedral. The hybridization is sp3 and the molecular geometry is tetrahedral. Looking at the other carbon atom, we see its electron geometry is tetrahedral, the hybridization is sp3, and the molecular geometry is tetrahedral.